All right, so this time we're talking about recurrence relations. Uh, so a relation is like a formula, uh, and we're going to use a formula that takes the previous term and uses it to predict the next term. All right, so that's what a recurrence relation is. So I'm going to do some so you can see exactly how it works. Now, we need a formula that will tell us what Tn is, and just any given number. So if we put in T10, we'll be able to find the tenth term of this formula. Uh, now, recurrence relations only work if you know the term that came just before that one. So Tn, the formula, the, the uh, term that comes just before Tn is Tn minus 1. Okay, so all subscript, all the, the small letter. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, T10 is equal to Tn minus 1. So as long as I know what Tn minus 1 is, I'll be able to find out what Tn is. Now, think about what's happening here. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. They're going up in 2s, right? So Tn, so the next term, is going to be equal to the previous term, so the next term, this is the next term, is going to be equal to the previous term plus 2. Alright, so that's how a recurrence relation works. As long as you know the previous term and you know what you need to do to it to make the next term, then you can use a recurrence relation. So looking at this formula, the next term, um, Tn, is equal to the previous term, Tn minus 1. And what am I doing to each previous term? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Well, I need to take this number and double it. So in other words, I need to multiply the previous term by 2. And finally, this one here. I tried to make this one a little more complicated. 4, 9, 19, 39. So the next term, Tn, is going to be equal to the previous term, Tn minus 1. And what's happening? Uh, 4, 9, 19, 39. If I double 4, I get 8. And then if I add 1, I'll get 9. If I double 9 and add 1, 18 plus 1, 19. Double, add 1, 39. Double, add 1. That's what I'm doing. That's what my formula is. So I take the previous term, take the previous term, double it, multiply it by 2, and then add 1 to it. Okay, that's how a recurrence relation works. You take the previous term and do something to it so you'll know the next term. 